talking and this game's fucking weird. That's my conclusion. It's a little bizarre right now. A scientific well, conclusion. see what's going on. Nice room. Not. Okay. So, why so, is he leaving shitty messages about his own game? So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're gonna see have been written by Coda. Of course. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. Okay. I saw him working on this Ooh. very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So wow. right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I okay. was over-enthusiastic. <laughs> but he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. And I all pulled these. off eventually. I will say you oh, did not need to Feel free to read skip all. over any of these yeah. notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. Yep. That's kind of very bizarre and it's really sad. But it's ironic, isn't it? That in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. <laughs> and I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. Seductive. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. Well, yeah. I think this is why I always That's why people draw and stuff, so much, yeah. Is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally Ooh. into his world. Hmm. And then I feel less lonely too. I failed to write anything here. Sorry. Hmm. Like, man, I feel like guilty not reading. Don't oh. worry about it. I watched a playthrough where somebody read all of them. Fucking seriously. And that was the entire half hour episode. Oh my god. Yeah, that's gonna take a while, so. Fuck that. Do we get to go see the painting? That's yes. That's where we're heading. I was hoping. I wasn't sure with this guy. No, that's true. You never I'm know. opening a candy bar if you're wondering what the crinkling is. How dare you! Ooh. Huh. Art. I'm starving and my blood sugar is low. Sorry, yeah, I think it's pretty. It is pretty. Hmm, how strange. I'm just surprised that somebody took would actually take the time and effort to actually program and put in all of these messages right. of their own thoughts, I guess. Huh. Okay. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here... I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Something okay. about going into the darkness. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous uh -huh. chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Okay, so like... Sure. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism I like for this moving one. on. <laughs> okay, so like he seems like like the stereotypical artist, like an artist that people write about, not an actual artist. Like right, yeah, who, who, yeah like who acts like like. I always get really upset when it's like when in movies and stuff it's that person who like their entire room is filled with paints and they have deep emotional thoughts and nobody understands them and it's like I've always wanted to be that artist. I've wanted to draw emotionally. I've wanted to do this to like relax and stuff and to like get my thoughts out there, but I just kind of draw shit. You know, like I've never well, been that kind of artist. That's the stereotype, but Creation because is there's for the this creator, dark area not necessarily doors, a space between spaces. Wait, did I? Before you move on, you? you get you to, to hit that switch, go mm. inside. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. Huh. Let's see. 
Oh. How do you leave notes? Typewriters? Oh my god. Typewriters. That's strange. Mm. Oh there. my god! Please say something. It can't be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Speak, 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 oh. speak, 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 speak. My god. Huh. So, is this guy terrifying? Hmm. That's all I have to say about that. Don't click your tongue at me. Why don't you do it too? Porn stars no, die it, too. Oh, that good. was me still. That was all right. I didn't know Spin anything. its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. That wasn't a very good one. Okay. Is this gonna be like a Ringu kind of situation? Be nice. Eh. What? How do you get through that door? Oh. I mean, I did it, I guess. But... <laughs> How do I leave notes? Uh, well, you don't in this one. You're not connected <laughs> to the internet. <laughs> Sonic Dreams. This does have a weird Sonic Dreams kind of vibe to it, but it's like in a more... It's like intelligent. Oh! Is this oh, take you oh, to oh. the... See, like, thing? this is it. The whole game. And oh. there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Right. Except, for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into that? something else. Yeah, I think it's okay, just textures. Cool. Here's version two. Oh. Version two. Okay. Oh. Oh, now there's no more furniture. Okay. But there's lines for the furniture. Furniture ought to go to the center. What furniture ought to go to the center of the room? Uh, oh, oh, God. Do okay. you remember? Um. Well, that's what do you want to do? So, do you want a refrigerator? Okay, we're gonna put a refrigerator. Oh. That's not a refrigerator, but you know, whatever. Along the wall of the room. Let's put a. I like a washing machine. Uh, those are those are couches, but you know, that's fine too. Light it up this room. I keep trying to. What is three? Three is right bumper. Oh, okay. I kept trying to do three. Um, Tesla coils. Tesla coils, yeah. sure. Bumper. Top Bump one. Oh. There you go. Not the trigger. That does that's a lamp. Table, you need a table. Oh wow. Tables were invented in 1935. Oh my um, god. Pretty sure none of my choices. Hey, that was a table. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. Oh, okay. Huh. I can't go over there. Okay. I can go over here though. There you go. Oh, so, okay. God. He throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Okay. Oh, joy. Hello, please walk forward. Must I? Uh, or do you want to go into an endless void that you'll get lost in inevitably? Fair. This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. Any prison environment, huh? Follow the instructions carefully. P take care that you remember each step. Sure. Oh, the glossiness of click the on wood. This I know, the wood's cool. Yeah. Is that a table? Oh god. Good. Go over to the photo frame and click it to turn it slightly. This one? It must be. Okay. Now turn the floor lamp in this room off and then turn it back on. Okay. Now go to the left side sofa. Uh, move it a little left. Move it a little? Alright. Touch the shelves. Touch the cow! Do it now! That's it. In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. What? What? Return to the start, I guess. Okay. Sure. Why not? Do we just remember this? Oh, this hurts. Return? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Is that Thank it? You. That hurt. Or do we eyeballs. remember what we're doing? Do I have to do all that again? I can do it. Ooh, we're in oh, here now. Of course. Okay. Now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events. Nice. Ah. Uh, that's cute. Okay. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, and the outside is the inside. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of funny. Let me blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, 
I think it's awful to watch this, to see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice no. telling you to stop, that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going, and, going, and then he hits on something. What does he and hit? He likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. What? This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. What? Excuse me? Okay. What Hi. is that? Oh, we're outside. Oh, it's the lamp. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're like walking outside. Keep going. Um. Okay. You're sure. not making me feel very confident, Ash. I'm spooped. So what I'm going to tell you about this entire game is keep going. I'm spooked, though. Woo. I told you there's no jump scares. I don't care. There's a phone booth. That's interesting. Oh. oh, okay. Sure, why not? I can't move. Hello? Hello? Who is this? I have no idea, actually. It's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. Okay. Sure. You're me? I guess so. So you're trapped in this prison too? It's a conversation. Huh. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Hmm. Weird. Symbolism! person now as I was back then actually does change. I don't feel like the same person at all. Oh no, that's awful. Yeah. That's the worst thing I can imagine. Yeah. Oh my god. Hmm. The problem is that you don't actually know who you are right now. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? Oh. Hmm. No, I think I'm the first person to call back. Then can you tell me how to get out? Maybe I can come find you. What do I have to do? I have no fucking idea. Hmm. What the fuck? To get out, all you have to do is be sincere. What? I don't know. That will free me? I guess so. How does that work? I don't, I don't know. Sincere about what? Oh. Mm. That's exactly what you need to figure out in order to escape. Here you go. Huh. That was weird. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Huh. These are getting a little awkward. Okay. Strange. Awkward how? Um. Like I ran and raved about him. So what would it but look like? Now it's kind of like oh, to make a game I, I have to those feelings other dude. than himself. I get you. Okay. So we got to me, some this buildings. environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, Man. with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Oh. That one's locked. Huh. I like how Ash is just like, can we not make this like a five hour playthrough? <laughs> <laughs> well, my goodness, I'm glad as heck that you showed up. Thought I might be having to clean this entire house all by myself. And right, Miss Bull, that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. Uh. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, 
and this particular game took two months to create as a result. That's the table I want to see. Now, would you please run to the bedroom and make the bed? Sure. Where's the bedroom? Do your chores, Patrick! No, I'm bad! I don't do chores good. Oh, okay, here's my bed. Ooh. Make the bed. Bam. Oh, that does look nice. Huh. While you're in there, why don't you straighten up the rug a bit? All the details matter. Okay. Oop. And the books. Uh... time since I've seen a house this messy. This line of work you let go of judgments pretty fast. It may not be your apartment, but something in your life needs straightening up. If you think you've got nothing that needs cleaning, be careful because that means it's it. Huh. At any rate, my place is just to see a bit of peace brought here. Speaking of which, the pillows on this couch are right. Would you come out and straighten them up? A bit? Sure. Boop. Oh dear, it looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as long as you're over there. Boop. Why am I doing your job, TV I person? feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Make it especially cheesy. Mm -hmm. Cheesy. <laughs> it's okay. No. Oh. No, it was stupid. Sorry. Never mind. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Hey, these dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? Okay. Okay. Done. Last I checked, the tub needed cleaning. How about you scrub down as best you can? Okay. Done. No need to be perfect. We're all just human. There are still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom, if so would you put them back on the shelf? Okay. Blam. Bam. Perfect. In a weird way, I kind of like this one. Now then, how about you come and clear all these dishes off the table? After the intense set of oh. prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. For all houses, it's easy to clean. Darling, let me tell you something. In your lifetime, you are going to clean a lot of houses. Among all of those, a few of them will stick out as truly wonderful, beautiful experiences. None of them will be the ones that were easy. Just something to think about while you smooth out the rug in the bedroom. Uh. I know Dakota really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Earlier, when I said I had a really cheesy thought, it's going to say that it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. Hey. Don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. Anyway. So. Housekeeping. <laughs> Let's keep doing this. Books, would you please clean up the books? Sure. Thanks. Sure. This person sounds like me. <laughs> sure. Oh goodness, those pillows over on the couch are real mess. I'm glad you found some peace. Huh. Question. Okay. Do you but enjoy this? Of course, it can't last. No. Nope. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. Oh. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You huh. can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. I'm gonna eat another candy bar as a reward for doing all that reading. Hmm. It's getting weird. I mean, it's been getting weird, but... Fuck, man. There's our light post. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. Babe, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So now what? Items you love this at members only big. prices. Oh. Why did I come here today? I don't know. Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? 
Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. Oh. Why was it? You came here to become perfect. Well. Sure. The oh. workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I would love to learn. I want your friends and people in your life to look at you and think, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know who is well-developed as a person that they may feel disgusted with yourself, compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful? I intend to make you f make up to that person. Perfection is within your grasp. The question is not how do we do it, but how do we know it? How, how do we, we do, do it effortlessly? It's easy. It's so easy. It is so easy. About halfway through the game, being perfect is effortless. <gasps> Whoa. Um, so I guess we're gonna stare into the Eye of Sauron in the next episode of oh my God. Um, The Beginner's and you Guide. Play as the teacher. Oh, maybe. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. That Let's is so. Let's move around in the next episode. Okay, bye-bye.